In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. My brothers and sisters, we continue the reading of the Bible. We are in the book of Genesis on chapter 36. This is about the descendants of Esau. Brothers and sisters, we continue the reading and the meditation. I am Marie Louise Omumalarongo. These are the descendants of Esau, also called Edom. Esau married the Canaanite woman, wom, women, Ada, the daughter of Elon, uh, of Elon the Hittite, Hodibam, the daughter of Anna, son of Zebeon the Hivite, Hivit, and Besema, the daughter of Ishmael and the sister of Nebaoth. Ada bore Eliphaz, Besema bore Reuel, and Ohodibama bore Jehusha, Jalam, and Korah. All the sons were born to Esau in the land of Canaan. Then Esau took his wives, his sons, his daughters, and all the people of his house, together with all his livestock and all the possessions he had acquired in the land of Canaan, and went away from his brother Jacob to another land. He left because the land where he and Jacob were living was not able to support them. They had too much livestock and could no longer stay together. So Esau lived in the hill country of Edom. These are the descendants of Esau, the ancestor of the Edomites. Esau's wife Ada bore him one son, Eliphaz. And Eliphaz had five sons, Tema, Omar, Zepho, Gatam, and Kenaz. And by another wife, Timna, he had one more son, Amalek. Esau's wife, Besema, bore him one son, Lewer, and Lewer had four sons, Nahath, Zerah, Shammah, and Mizah. Esau's wife, Oholibam, Ma, the daughter of Anna, son of Zibion, bore him three sons, Jeush, Jalam, and Korah. These are the tribes descended from Esau. Esau's first son, Eliphaz, was the ancestor of the following tribes Temam, Omar, Zepho, Kenaz, Korah, Gatam, and Amalek. These were all descendants of Esau's wife, Ada. 
Ezao San Rewe was the ancestor of the following tribe Nahath, Zera, Shama, and Mizha, Miza. These were all the descendants of Ezao's wife Besemath. The following tribes were descended from Ezao by his wife Oholibama, the Delta of Anna, Jeush, Jalam, and Korah. All these tribes were descended from Ezao. The descendants of Seir. The origin inhabitants of the land of the Edom were divided into tribe, tribes which tra traced their ancestor to the following descendants of Seir, Ehorit, Rotan, Shoba, Zebo, Zeboa, Anna, Dishon, Ezer, and Dishan. Lotan was the ancestor of the clans of Hori, Hori and Heman. Lotan had a sister named Timna. Shoba was the ancestor of the clans of Arvan, Manahath, Ebash, Shefo, and Onam. Zibeon had two sons, Aya, and Anna. This is the Anna who found the hot springs in the wilderness when he was taking care of his father's donkeys. Anna was the father of Dishon, who was the ancestor of the clans of Hemdan, Eshban, Ithran, and Cheran. Anan also had a daughter named Oholibama. Ezar was the ancestor of the clans of Bilihan, Zavan, and Akan. Dishan was the ancestor of the clans of Uz and Aran. These are the Horit tribes in the land of Edom, Lotan, Shobal, Zibeon, Anaha, Nish, Dishon, Ezer, and Dishan. The, king, the kings of Edom. Before there were any kings in Israel, the following kings ruled over the land of Edom in, in succession. Bela son of Beor from Dinah, Dinhaba, Jobab son of Zerah from Bo, Bozra, Hushma from the region of Teman, Hadad son of Bedad from Avith, he defeated the Midianites in a battle in the country of Moab. Samla from Ma Masreka. Shaul from Rehoboth on the river. Bad Hanan, son of Akshubol. Hadad from Pau. Pa, pa, His wife was Mehetaber, the daughter of Ma Trade and the granddaughter of Mezabhabath. Ezra was the ancestor of the following Edomic tribes, Timna, Alva, Jethev, Oholibam, Eda, Pinon, Kenaz, Tema, Mizbah, Magd Magdadiel, and Iram. The way each of these tribes lived was known by the name of the tribe. This is the end of chapter 36. We continue with the chapter 37. Joseph and his brothers.
Jacob continued to live in the land of Canaan, where his father has lived, and this is the story of Jacob's family. Joseph, a young man of 17, 17 took care of the sheep and got with his brothers, the sons of Bilha and Zilipa, his father's concubines. He brought bad reports to his father about what his brothers were doing. Jacob loved Joseph more than all his other sons because he had been born to him when he was, he was old. He made a long robe with full sleeves for him. When his brothers saw that their father loved Joseph more than he loved them, they hated their brother so much that they would not speak to him in a friendly manner. One night Joseph had a dream, and when he told his brothers about it, they hated him even more. He said, listen to the dream I had. We were all in the field trying up, sh up sheaves of wheat when my sheaf got up and stood up straight. You formed a circle round mine and bowed down to it. Do you think you are going to be a king and rule of us? His brothers ask, asked. So they hated him even more because of his dreams and because of what he said about them. Then, Jaco, then Joseph had another dream and said to his brothers, I had another dream in which I saw the sun, the moon, and eleven stars bowing down to me. He also told the, uh, told the dream to, the, to his father, and his father uh, scolded him. What kind of a dream is it? Is that? Do you think that your mother, your brothers, and I going to come and bow down to you? Joseph's father's uh, brothers were jealous of him, but his father kept things, thinking about the whole matter. Joseph is sold and taken to Egypt. One day, when Joseph, Joseph's brother had gone to Shem to take care of their, their father's flock, Jacob said to Joseph, I want you to go to Shechem, where your brothers are taking care of the flock. Joseph answered, I'm ready. His father said, go and see if your brothers are safe and if the frog is all right then come back and tell me so his father sent him on his way from the valley of the valley of hebron joseph arrived at Seshem and was wandering about in the country when a man saw him and asked him what are you looking for I'm looking for my brothers who are taking care of their flock, he answered. Can you tell me where, where they are? The man said, they have already left. I heard them say that they were going to Dothan. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them at Dothan. They saw him in the distance and before he reached them, they plotted against him and decided to kill him. They said to one another, here comes the dreamer. Come on now, let's kill him and throw him his body into one of the dry wells. 
We can say that a wild animal killed him. Then we will see what becomes of his dreams. Reuben had them and tried to save Joseph. Let's not kill him, he said. Just throw him into this well in the wilderness, but don't hurt him. He said this, planning to save him from them and send him back to his father. When Joseph came up to his brothers, they raped of his long robe with the full sleeves, sleeves. Then they took him and threw him into the well, which was dry. While they were eating, they suddenly saw a group of Ishmaelites traveling from Gilead to Egypt. Their camels were loaded with the spices and the raisins. Judah said to his brothers, What will we gain by killing our brother and covering up to the, the murder? Let's send him to this Ishmaelite. Then we won't have to hurt him. After all, he is our brother, our own flesh and blood. His brothers agreed, and when some Midianite traders came by, they they, the brothers pulled Joseph out of the well and sold him for 20 pieces of silver to the Ishmaelite who took him to Egypt. When Reuben came back to the well and found that Joseph was not there, he told his clothes in sorrow. In sorrow, he returned to his brothers and said, "The boy is not there. What am I going to do?" Then they killed the goat and they and they dipped Joseph's robe in its blood. They took to the robe to their father and said, We found this. Does it belong to your son? He recognized it and said, Yes, it is his. Some weird animal has killed him. My son Joseph has been torn to pieces. Jacob tore his clothes in his sorrow and put on sack, sack cloth. He mourned for his son a long time. All his sons and daughters came to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted and said, I will go down to the world of the dead, still mourning for my son. So he continued to mourn for his son, Joseph. Meanwhile, in Egypt, the Midianites had sold Joseph to Potiphar, one of the king's officers, who was the captain of the palace guard. God. The word of God. My brothers and sisters, this is the story of Joseph. It's a sad story, a true story which was the source of the Israelites to go to Egypt. Later, we will know much about it. May God bless us, my dear friends. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.